51 of first day 2021 version and um, it's all summarized even MER 7 of Zen of Zena ma'am that is also summarized here itself okay so let's start first thing is the mnemonic swim so S stands for safety W stands for work I stands for improvement and M stands for marketing now in case of drug trials you have five phases phase zero is like the micro dosing study that you have it's not that important but the other phases are very important so let's start phase zero is micro dosing study and it mainly encompasses healthy volunteers just the initial pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics is taken into consideration always the dose is less than 100 mcg you want to remember this whether you don't want to remember it's up to you this was some somewhere given in marrow so less than one percent of the therapeutic dose now in case of phase one what happens is you can consider healthy volunteers as well as patients with the disease of interest that you're working on but if the drug is very toxic then you use the patients only you can't subject the healthy volunteers to the toxic drug because this is the phase where you basically assess the safety the properties of the drug itself like you know kind of like the personality of the drug so whether drug the drug is safe safe whether the toxicity what is the toxicity the dosage the maximum tolerable dose pharmacokinetics and the pharmacodynamics so remember the terms okay these are the things that you're going to be tested on maximum tolerable dose is something that has come somewhere it's given in one of the questions okay what was what is in in which phase you determine the maximum tolerable dose something like that okay so that is it next is the number of patients i mean the number of subjects that you take is 10 to 100 in case of phase one that's up to you whether you want to remember it's also called an open label study and usually this goes on for one month to one year blacks is something that is up to you whether you want to remember or not phase two is a randomized control trial and is blinded here you have moderate number of patients uh, namely 50 to 100 that is always less than 100 1000 sorry 1000 less than 1000 that is important so here it is whether it's going to work or not this is like the effect of someone on someone else based on their personality right so this was everything about the personality of the drug and this one was how the drug works okay the actions basically so therapeutic exploration now therapeutic exploration is determined in phase two and efficacy whether you know treatment efficacy or adverse effects all this is determined in phase two dose ranging this term dose ranging that is also determined in phase two itself obviously so yeah next is phase three so phase three you have multi-site trials in phase three this is a must for approval okay you have to do phase three in order to like you know get the approval so a large number of patients is considered in this uh, obviously this is also random and 50 to 3000 that is the number and the most important terminology here is therapeutic confirmation and comparison so that's why whether there's room for improvement or not so all the therapeutic guidelines this is determined in phase 3 so therapeutic confirmation and comparison is for phase 3 okay and phase four is finally the post-marketing surveillance that is also the observational study so this is like it detects those rare long-term adverse effects and so on now most important thing is uh, if you have to get the licensing okay a new drug application and licensing that has to be done in between phase three to phase four this is when it's done okay and one more thing is something about pivotal study this is something that's only mentioned in marrow somewhere so marrow or one of the coaching institutes like this is like goes into too much of depth whatever so pivotal study is mainly done in phase three but in case of cancer patients and i mean cancer drugs and rare diseases okay then it is done in phase two so yeah that is it you have to remember the terms you know all these terms that maximum tolerable dose and efficacy and you know adverse reactions therapeutic confirmation exploration and so on you have to remember the terms on one side second side is who are you taking whether you're taking the healthy volunteers or the patients or where are you taking both and so on and so forth 
and then the other stuff is like whether you want to remember or not remember that's up to you but make sure to remember the terminology so this is it and on the side this i've written how long this goes on so phase one goes on for one month to one year phase two one to two years and phase three is three to five years so it's up to you whether you want to learn that or not and yeah i think uh, this is enough and the rest you can read it yourself also and i just pointed out the main most important things um okay i'll just read out this one large number of patients with disease of interest randomly assigned either to the treatment under investigation or to the standard of care or placebo so when you are saying placebo this is how you maybe you know improvement you see the improvement and standard of care so basically you are comparing and contrasting okay so that is it okay here you have healthy volunteers and here you have moderate number of patients with the disease here you can have patients with the disease of interest as well in case of phase 1 and uh, yeah this is post marketing surveillance and phase 0 is particularly for healthy volunteers so i think uh, this takes care of this table and uh, plus it combines uh, a lot of things be it pyq or be it mer everything thank you and have a nice day i mean it's already night but uh, subscribe and share subscribe like do all the all that all those youtube stuff and uh, yeah i'll keep posting regularly